Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is the second part of the new tutorial on how to build a URL shortener, a tiny URL clone, using Quarkus version 2. Let's continue where we left in the part 1. As we can see inside these methods, we are using different types of exceptions. It would be better to create a dedicated exception for our project. Let's do it. Let's call it URL shortener exception. Perfect. This class extends the runtime exception with all possible constructors. Very simple. Let's return to our service class and replace all exceptions with our brand new URL shortener exception. Another improvement that we can make is to externalize inside the configuration file all these error messages. Go inside the resource folder and open the application properties file. Inside this file, let's add the custom properties. The first one, exception.message.alias.null, with the values the alias cannot be null or empty. The second one, exception message URL not created, with the value the URL shortener cannot be created. The last one, exception message alias already exists, with the value the alias already exists. Perfect. Let's go back inside our service and with the annotation config property, inject and use the custom properties that we defined previously. We're gonna create three different string variables. One to contain the message where I'll not created, the other one to contain the message alias already exists, and the last one for the message alias not null. After that, let's use these variables inside our custom exception. Good. After those improvements, we have to write the test cases for the URL shortener service. We're gonna test the create URL shortener and get URL shortener methods. On top of the class URL shortener service, Add the annotation quarkus test and test method order. We want to test our service, so let's inject it into this test class. Let's declare a URL shortener item that we're gonna use inside our test case and let's initialize inside the setup method. The first method to test is the create URL shortener. Because of that, we have to put the annotation order with the value 1. Let's type shortener.createWRLShortener, passing the item as parameter. Then let's check that the output is not null and the list is not empty. Good. The second test case we're gonna write is the create URL shortener input null because we have to check that if the input is null the service must throw an exception also in this method let's put the annotation order with value 1 before jumping to the get URL shortener let's write the last test case for the create URL shortener meaning create URL shortener input already exists in this case the annotation order must have the value 2 because first we want to make sure to have already added the item inside the list. Also in this case, we're gonna check that the method throws an exception. Finally, we can test our get URL shortener method. Type shortener service dot get URL shortener passing the item get alias. 
Then let's check that the output is not null and not empty and that the result contains exactly the same URL and alias of the item that we added. Perfect. With the same logic, let's write the test cases get URL shortener not found, but in this case the result object must be empty. In order to cover all the possibilities that can happen, let's also check that the input is not null, writing the test case get URL shortener input null, checking that it will throw an exception. Let's do the same, just copy and paste this method, in order to write also the get URL shortener input empty. Perfect, our URL shortener service test is completed. Now open the terminal. Don't forget that we already run the project in development mode with Quarkus, so let's just type R in order to rerun all the test cases. Very good. As we can see, all the 17 tests are passing. In the next video, we're going to see how to convert a URL shortener object, the DAO entity, into a URL shortener DTO, the DTO entity. Thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel to be always updated about new videos that I will upload. And see you in the part 3. Bye.